yeah. Man here, and it is love and season. In honor of Valentine's Day, I'm coming at you with a drink drop. In this drink drop, we're going to be creating the love martini. I actually found this recipe online. I'll post the website down below. I switched out a couple of things because you know I like sugar skull, effing. So I replaced the vodka and the coconut rum that they suggested for this. But first, let me slip into something a little more fitting of the occasion. No. Ah, much better, more fitting for the occasion. Let's get started on this love martini. So, a couple of prep things that I did. I added ice to my shaker and three ounces of cranberry juice. So if you're gonna make two of these, everything that will do, you just wanna double. I also cut up a couple strawberries for my garnish, just slide and slice them in the middle. I also took a strawberry, just like this one, and kinda of cut a V in the top and removed the topper, which made, so when I sliced it, I get these cute little heart-shaped styled strawberries, which we're gonna also use in a drink. I took my martini glasses and I spun them on one, in the beginning, I spun them in roses grenadine. And in a second plate, I just had a plate full of pink sugar and I spun it in that, that pink sugar to kind of dress up I, the top of my glass is really cool. I think this is a martini, so it should be served in a martini glass. This is more martini style, but I think it gives an excellent little added touch for our lover's season. Okay, next. As I mentioned, I subbed out a couple of the things that she suggested. So I am going to, all right, add a half ounce of Sugar Skull Vanilla Rum. I'm also going to add a half ounce of peach schnapps. Now I'm using Arrow. I, I really haven't found a noticeable difference in the peach schnapps. So I just say, you know, pick whatever's on sale. And lastly, they suggested a citron vodka. I think they even suggested Amsterdam. But as always, you know, we are effing boys around here. So I selected effing. I'm gonna do a half ounce of effing. Right. Spin it on around. Get out the last little remnants. Again, if you're making two glasses, I would say just double everything. I am I have two in the setup just because I think no woman should drink alone. It's just me, so I'm not one. I also feel like this should be like a. split it up a little bit. They'll be a little bit smaller. We will slap our strawberry over on the side. And we will plop in Couple of strawberries. Let's see what she tastes like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Kind of reminds me of a woo woo a little bit. If you've ever had a, a, a woo woo, I, I guess it's pretty much it's the same thing with exception of coconut rum. But pretty good. Really tasty. Will make for a great. A special evening with that special person. This has been another drink drop and the love martini. Make sure that you and your special someone drink responsibly and get home safe. This has been another episode of Jones and Man. Clink them and drink them, and we'll see you next time.